Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, and I'm excited. I'm super duper excited. This is a get ready with me video, and it's getting ready with me using a bunch of different products, okay? So if you follow me on Snapchat, then you guys know that I get a lot of PR boxes, and some of them I'm gonna share with you because we're gonna do a look real quick. I'm gonna try not to rush because I am in a rush. <laughs> if I mean, I don't even know if that makes sense, but I'm trying not to rush, although I'm in a rush, okay? So I'm going to try some new things because I'm actually going out at nighttime. And so if everything is not like super duper on point, it's okay because I'm going to be in the dark. You feel me? And some of the products I'm going to try is this Becca primer right here. It is their first light priming filter. I believe that's what it's called, but it's purple. Oh, I couldn't get it back on there right, but it's this new Becca soft light blurring powder and it's supposed to be great. Ooh, I can't even show you right there, but it, isn't it gorgeous? But it's supposed to be really, really great to use without makeup and on top of makeup. So we're gonna test that out. What else is new? Oh, let me get this big old box. Let me show you. So I got this big old box from Pixie, you guys. So let's see if I can open it up on camera. So there are like four collaborations. And you see Judy, I love Judy, she is so sweet. So there's another girl too by the name of Aspen. And then there's more on that side. So we are going to use some stuff from that. We're gonna use, it's Judy's Time eyeshadow palette. And then we're gonna use Miriam's, her strobe and sculpt palette right here. Ooh, that looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna use that. And I don't know, like it was a toss up, okay? It was a toss up between the strobe and sculpt and then the Tartise Pro Glow. So I may use both of them just a little bit. And then I'm gonna try out this Pixi Lengthy Fiber Mascara. It has a really, really small applicator and I think that my itty bitty lashes will love it because y'all know I'm a part of the itty bitty lash committee, just saying. And then the Black Up Mattifying Tinted Moisturizer. The shade that I have is 03 and gosh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is it medium deep or something? I'm not sure, but we're gonna try that out. Now I swatched it on my hand and it did look a little orange, but then I swatched it on my face and I'm like, we may be able to make it work. So we're gonna test that out. And I got a few Morphe liquid lipsticks that I definitely want to test out. So I'm putting this uh, concealer on my lid to mute out the discoloration. It is the Sephora concealer in Dose de Leche. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you already know that I love, 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 love the Morphe liquid lipsticks now i have not tried all of the shades but the shades that i have tried i totally love and side note do y'all ever feel like one of your eyebrows are off and you just really don't have time to just perfect them but this color nibble right here is one of my favorite shades and i'm thinking of rocking that tonight because i'm actually going out with the hubby and he's not really into makeup like i'm into makeup right he doesn't you know he could do without it but i like it so i'm gonna go in between and do a little light beat on tonight that's why i said that i don't have to go hard tonight you know what i mean if it's not perfect it's okay so first i'm gonna use this la girl pro primer and just put a little bit on my lid to just set whatever I'm using in place. This shade would be Snowflake and this one would be Good Morning. I'm gonna use Good Morning if that's correct, if I'm saying that right. This kind of looks like Cocoa Bear, guys. Oh, <gasps> that's pretty. This is my first time using Pixie eyeshadows too, by the way. But I think this color is Good Morning. This is a perfect color because listen, Good morning is like, just get up, pop it on. Good morning, hey, how you doing? Oh, I see so many ideas and I may put that in my inner corner, I don't know. But look at that, I see so many ideas right here. You can do this one as a smoky eye, this one. You can actually blend these two together. Um, that Okay, so yeah, this one is called Ping. Oh, that's pretty. I really love burgundy type colors on my lid. Let's go into this one just a little bit. Okay, that one's not as pigmented as it looks though. What color was that? Aw, oh, snap. <laughs> Aw, oh, snap, because it's not as deep as I thought it was. All right, so we're gonna try this shade right here. What is it? Honey Bear, right there? I don't know. Let's see what it gives me. Oh my gosh, it's like my skin tone. I kind of like doing these videos, you guys, because you guys get to see my first impression of all these products, and it's another way for me to try a bunch of products at one time. Now, this is the Merriam palette. This is called the 
Uh-oh, the strobe and scope set. This is like a banana type color, I'm guessing to like set highlights. So I'm gonna use that as a brow bone highlight and see. Oh, what? Okay, this will work. I gotta go to work on my feet. I have to put a lot. It's very soft. I really wanna use this little burgundy color right here. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I hope it's not too dark. Oh, that's cute. But this is cool to prepare my lashes for lashes <laughs> or to prepare it for my Better Than Sex mascara because this is not heavy enough for my itty bitty lash committee. But it, all, but it says that it's a fiber mascara and it's supposed to just lengthen. So I'm guessing it's made to apply another one on top. I don't know. But anyway, since I don't have my liner in front of me, I am going to, actually I do. I do, I do. I do, I do, I do, ooh. I'm gonna take this LA Girl liner. It's my black liner, used and abused. And I'm gonna put a little bit right here cause I love to do that. Cause it adds a little bit of depth. You guys see the difference? Oh, that's like the trick that I love to do. So we're gonna go into this primer and if it does give me a little bit of glow, Whoa, it is really purple, y'all. But if it does give me a little bit of glow, it is okay because I'm only gonna be out for a couple of hours. And if it's a healthy glow, it's all good. Oh, what does that smell like? It's really, it smells really fresh, but I can't put my hand on it or I can't put my finger on it. Oh, that does look healthy. Whoa. You're supposed to be able to just walk out like that. That is really honey. If you have dry looking skin, you will love this. Okay, all right, Becca, that's healthy. I look healthy. Now I'm gonna color correct with my makeup forever. It is the shade R50. You know what? I'm seriously thinking about calling this video, get ready with me in a hurry because I totally feel like I'm rushing because I am. So we're gonna go into this black up mattifying tinted moisturizer. So it is mattifying and that is what the color looks like. Oh my Lord, <sighs> that looks kind of orange. You know what though, in all honesty, a lot of times when you use a tinted moisturizer, they tend to blend into your skin. And that's what I'm hoping for today because I don't have time for anything else. And I think they have one other shade before this one and one other shade after this one. <sighs> I don't know, please. Okay, so I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and blend it in. That's really Oompa Loompa-ish. I'm feeling like a Oompa Loompa. I'm just gonna use my Clinique Super Balanced Makeup. I'm gonna use it, it's in the color Sable. I'm gonna use just a little bit to balance that out. I really wasn't going for a super flawless look tonight, but I have to do something. I have to add something. You came through Clinique and you came through. But that tinted moisturizer, very, very sheer. Very, very sheer. In another video, I told you guys that you will probably see my LA Girl concealer again. Well, I didn't mean for you to see it so soon, but my Tarte Shape Tape is way across the room. So we are going with LA Girl Fawn today. I'ma set my under eye first with the Cover FX, which I just love how they have that little top, right? Like, you see that? Like, this is the sifter right here, and then you can actually close it. So I think that's very clever. And so I'm gonna take that and put this under my eye and I'm gonna actually use the Becca too because it's supposed to have like some glowing blurring effect. So I'm only gonna put a little bit, but I'm gonna put it all over my face and just test it out and see, test the waters. Okay. Oh, that really highlights, huh? Let's do just a little bit of contouring with my NYX Wonder Stick. So I'm gonna use this powder brush because this one really presses the powder in, and I don't wanna press the powder in. I just wanna lightly dab. I wanna lightly dab. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, oh no. We're gonna stick with under the eye. Let's put a little under the eye. I do like how it gives me that glow, but I don't think I wanna use it all over my face. Something is telling me to just apply it right here and keep it pushing. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Do y'all see that though? It just kind of gave like a little filter right there and gave it like a glow at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna try this in another video all by itself without the cover effects too. They should totally come out with one that's like a deep skin tone or four deep skin tones because I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared to put that all over my face right now. So I am gonna go with my good old 
BH Cosmetics Powder in 240, and I'm gonna use my Morphe E1 brush and we're just gonna set per the use. So we are going to contour, and like I told you guys, I want to use this shade right here. It has a little bit of a red in it, but it should be cool. Maybe this can hide my mistakes, right? You know, mess up your foundation, slather on the bronzer. No, I'm just kidding. But that's kind of true. It got a little truth to it though, it got a little truth. I told you guys that people always ask me if I have cheek implants. So Oprah posted a picture of me and like 50,000 people was like, oh my gosh, her cheek implants look like ping pong balls. And I was like, yeah, they're totally not cheek implants, but I thought it was hilarious. Seriously, that orange and that black up got me a little messed up. So there is another color in here. It's not like the greatest for a blush, but I probably can work it out. So I am gonna use that with the same brush I used for that powder at first. And I'm just gonna Oh man, oh, I need a deeper color. I'm just gonna go with Tarte. I was gonna use one of the Pixies, but it may be a little too light. So let's just go with Tarte, the Tarte Pro Glow Palette, and I'm gonna use the deepest one right there and see how that works out for my life. And this kind of smells like, oh my gosh, it smells like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. But that works. So I have been loving this Milani Make It Last setting spray. It says prime, correct, and set. I may need to use that for today, but let me tell you what else I have. I have the Ben Nye Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. Actually, let's go with this. It says you can use it on powdered or cream makeup, but it says to spray lightly and avoid saturation. So you know how y'all go ham with all the spray? You're not supposed to do this with this one according to their instructions. And then it says to allow to dry and repeat application if desired. I don't know if it's a fine mist or not. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty fine. So, oh. It smells like doubling gum. What? Give your breath long lasting freshness. <laughs> if you like double mint, you'll like final seal. <laughs> mm. Okay, so now we're gonna use this Nibble Lippy by Morphe. And by the way, these Morphe liquid lipsticks, they smell great. They kind of have, I wanna say a vanilla scent, but it's something a little different but I really love it. I may be doing a lip swatch video on these Morphe shades. So if you guys wanna see that video, let me know. But this is Nibble and it smells great. And you see that? It reminds me of ColourPop Tulips. I'm gonna change the lippy, okay? Cause I feel like I just did this. So we're gonna go in with this color Peanut, which I like that too. Or shoot, we can mix the two. It dries pretty quick though, y'all. And they do not move. Once they're on, you don't have transfer. Ooh, that's gorgeous. I like that. I don't know how I feel about this, but it will do actually going out for a couple of hours. I'm not mad at it. So that is it for this video, you guys. You guys have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Tiki Beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Tiki Beauty. Yeah, Tiki Beauty.